Hey Harry Potter fans, welcome to the final part of our four-part series where we are wrapping up this golden snitch design to commemorate the anniversary of the start of the Potter world. We have our wings feathers patterned and we're ready to finalize the shape of the wing. I'm going to use the cut with surface tool to do this. Let's first sketch on the front plane and I'll just sketch a wing shape I'm happy with using a few arcs that I dimensioned to constrain the sketch. I just want to make sure that there is some portion of the wing below the full length of this sketch. Once you're happy with the shape, exit the sketch and navigate to Extruded Surface found in the Surfaces tab of the Command Manager. We just want to make sure this surface travels all the way through the wing, so I'll do a bi-directional extrusion, 40 millimeters in direction 1 and 100 millimeters in direction 2. I'm going to hide the spar so we don't accidentally cut that body as well. Now navigate to Cut with Surface, also found in the Surfaces tab. Select the surface we just extruded to act as the cutting tool and note the little gray arrow that pops up in the modeling area. You want this arrow to point towards the portions of the bodies that you will cut away, so set the direction of this arrow accordingly by simply clicking on it to toggle its direction. And click OK to complete the cut. And there we have the final shape of the feathers so we can combine them to the wing spar. Navigate to Insert, Features, Combine, or you can find the Combine tool in the Command Manager. And I'll click, hold, and drag a box around the bodies in the modeling area to select all of the bodies at once. I'll ensure the Add Operation type is selected, and click the green check mark to combine the feathers to the spar. I chose to build this wing on the front view, but it needs to be rotated into its final position. We could have built the wing in its final position, but this would have required building several construction planes and working at a funny angle in relation to the snitch's main body. In my opinion, how I built this is a simpler approach that requires a simple move operation to rotate it into place. Let's unhide our first wing spar sketch, as well as the snitch's body, and navigate to the Move Copy Bodies tool. Select the wing body, and in the box under Rotate, I'll select this sketch point at the root of our wing spar to rotate around. We'll rotate this around the y-axis, negative 50 degrees. That looks pretty good there, so make sure the copy option is not selected and we're good to go. Now let's apply as many fillets to this half of the body as we can before mirroring. Enter the fillet tool and we'll apply a 0.75 millimeter fillet to a bunch of these edges that won't be affected by the mirror operation. Now navigate to Mirror in the Command Manager, and we'll first mirror the snitch's main body. I'm mirroring the body and the wings separately because, as you'll see in a bit, this will make applying different appearances to these portions of the design much simpler. So select the side face to mirror about, and under the Bodies to Mirror option, select the snitch's body. Under Options, make sure the Merge Solids option is selected before clicking the green check mark. Now let's repeat that operation to mirror the wing body, this time selecting the right plane to mirror about. The Merge Solids operation won't work in this case since the two wing halves aren't touching each other, so I'll leave that unchecked. Now let's fill out the rest of the edges on the body of the snitch, again with a 0.75mm fillet.
Finally, we can combine the wings to the main body using the Combine tool. Just ensure you have the Add Operation type selected. So let's apply our different appearances to the body and wings. For the main body of the snitch, let's use a polished gold appearance, which I'll just drop into the modeling area to apply the appearance to the whole model. The snitch has silver wings, but I like the look of this burnished titanium appearance, so let's drag that in and hover over the spar of the right wing to bring up the option box for how to apply this appearance. We can choose to apply it to the whole model again, or to the body, both of which would overwrite the gold appearance we just applied. We could choose to apply it to the sweep feature, or we could choose to apply it to just this outer face of the sweep. Let's choose the feature option and then we can choose additional features to apply this appearance to by double clicking on the appearance in the display manager to edit it. Here we can choose the additional features to apply the appearance to, including the feather pattern, the cut with surface feature, the domed wing tip, and the mirrored left wing. So here is what I was talking about earlier when I said applying this appearance to the mirrored wing is simplified because we mirrored the snitch's body and wing separately. If we had mirrored the snitch's body and wing in the same feature operation, then we would have been forced to select all of the individual faces of this left wing in order to apply this titanium appearance. Now let's do one last thing to give this model a final touch. For highly reflective materials like this polished gold, SolidWorks includes a default modeling environment that the material reflects. I believe the default environment in this case is a kitchen scene, but we can change this scene to be more appropriate for this particular model. Under the Display Manager, navigate to the Scene, Lights, and Cameras section, and double-click on Scene. Under the Environment section, we can choose to replace the reference image. Here I've downloaded this dramatic image of Harry in the middle of an epic Quidditch match. So let's double-click on that. And if need be, under the Advanced tab, you can adjust the position of this image under Environment Rotation. So I'll rotate the environment a bit to make it seem like Harry is in hot pursuit of the snitch. So there we go, we have our completed golden snitch. So this is your friendly neighborhood SolidWorks guy saying, Happy Anniversary, Harry. Thank you for introducing us to your favorite wizarding pastime. And thanks to all you SolidWorks users for watching.